this plant here is Yacon, small anthus, Sanchifolius. It's in the sunflower family. It's closely related to dahlias. And look at the plant and the leaf structure. It also reminds me of a Tithonia or some of the Silphium's cut, fl uh, cut flowers. It's also a lot like um, Jerusalem artichokes, which are a sunflower. In any case, it's very frost tender and will probably die if we get the least bit of frost tonight. It's grown for the large dahlia-like tubers, which tend to have a texture, something like a jicama or a radish, but they tend to taste, to my mind, more like a really mild pear. It's not a bad tasting fruit at all, and they keep really well, but they are a starch that is stored in the form of inulin, so though they taste very sweet, your body can't make good use of them. So they have some of the unpleasant side effects that a Jerusalem artichoke or sunchoke also has. But they're a cool looking plant. They get really big. Uh, last year, six plants gave me a wheelbarrow full of tubers. So very productive and I haven't seen any disease or insect issues. The main problem is just getting people to eat them but they really don't have a strong or offensive flavor and it's a good productive plant for sure. The Yakon plants managed to survive until almost mid-November this year. So for the first time, we've gotten some open blooms on these and you can see their obvious relation to sunflowers, dahlias, zinnias, etc. But They've been burned by frost a little already, and in the next day or two, we're gonna get temperatures in the teens, so I don't expect these to make it much longer. Here's the Yakon plants after we had a hard freeze, completely destroyed overnight. And next to them is cotton plants, which have also been wrecked. And there's a brown cotton that's opened up there but yeah these yakons have been totally destroyed i've dug up all of the yakon for 2017 we ended up having five plants only four of which actually produced properly one of them had so much nasturtiums around it that it seemed to completely depress the productivity of the plant. I'm convinced that nasturtiums have an allelopathic tendency about them, that they suppress the growth of other plants actively. But in any case, we have a pretty respectable yield here. I would say that we probably have the total mass here, including the bits of stem and soil and stuff, is probably in the 80 pound range. The usable roots, probably about 50 pounds, 40 pounds maybe, which is an awful lot of roots. Uh, let's see if I can get some closer pictures here of the structure of these. If you've ever dug dahlias, it's exactly like dahlias. And in a moment here, I'll show a little bit better view of how these plants are set up structurally as far as the stems and the tubers go. So Yakon makes two types of storage root or storage stem material for winter. The one on the left is your big tubers, and this is what you eat. This is a piece that broke off, and normally you're going to have a lot more roots on here. A little idea of the sense of scale here. This is about the size of a medium-sized potato, and normally you're going to get six to a dozen of those attached. Let's see it's uh, white inside. And the texture is something like a water chestnut. This piece is, there's no storage roots have you noticed, but there's growth points, there's buds for next year. This is what you save for the following season's planting or you sell or give away. This is how you reproduce the plant. Uh, you can also reproduce them from tissue culture or seed. I'm not sure about stem cuttings, but I suspect that they would work if you got the right kind of stem cuttings because dahlias work. Um, 
but as you can see there there's no storage roots there and last year when I saved plants to replant I just saved these pieces with the growing points and I just cut away all of the storage roots once they had dried out a little bit and stored them separately and only saved these and I just held back the best you know eight or ten to replant and then some of them didn't make it all the way through the winter and the ones that did make it I planted the best ones back out so this is Yakon 2017 harvest.